Shalom, all praise is due to Yahweh, by Shah, Yahweh Shah, double honor to the apostles, the elders, who rule well in the spirit. Shalom to the Akim on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word of sincerity and truth and diligence. So we're going to go into, uh, what are you going to teach? Uh, Ari? 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 Yeah. We're going to go in. Uh, switch off. 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 Uh, Alright, so, uh, so the first, the first uh, chapter verse we're going to go to is Job verse 9 verse 24 Speaking to the wind out here Because that's what the Lord said Come and speak and prophesy to the wind No matter if nobody wants to hear The judgment is set on Babylon the Great Alright, brother, you can get that scripture This is Job chapter 9 verse 24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked The earth is given to the hand of the wicked that's the ruling people of the earth now are the wicked. Before the Lord comes back, the wicked is going to be ruling the earth. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who are the wicked? The so-called Europeans who conquered this land. And the whole earth are the wicked according to the Bible. The nation of Edom, so-called white people, right? The Israelites are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. So we're reading, we're reading Job. Chapter 9, verse 24, to see who the wicked is. Uh, All right, yeah. You can read it again, again. bro. All right, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, if the, uh, the people that's ruling the earth are not the wicked, then who are the wicked? That's what the prophet Job is uh, acting. Uh -huh. Who are the wicked and where are they if it's not the devil that rules the earth? Right. The devil is not underneath the ground with a red suit and a pitchfork pitching you in your, in your ass when you go to hell. Because hell, hell is a condition on earth right. and it's captivity. So the so-called projects and the ghettos and slums where the so-called blacks, Hispanics and the reservations where the Native Americans live, that's hell. Uh -huh. So this earth is where hell takes place on. And the wicked rule the earth. So we're going to go to right. the next... The next uh, let me get a quick precept though. Come, you come. said that the wicked is Esau, right? The Edomites. Come, come. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 21. And Savior shall come up. Excuse me. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. Right, the Mount of Esau. That's the United States of America. Come. And all European countries, specifically United States of America, is Babylon the Great. Okay? Right. The Saviors. It's talking about the 144,000. Uh -huh. The one third, the elect, the house of David, right. is going to rise up and judge this, this land and all lands underneath Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. Yahweh is the name of God and Yahweh Shai is the name of Jesus Christ. Right. They're both black. They're going to set up saviors. Because uh, underneath Jesus Christ or Yahweh Shai, they're saviors. Uh -huh. Starting with the uh, house of David, the 144,000, the elect. So and that mount, was it. And, and real quick, just to expound on it, it says the Mount of uh, uh, Mount Zion, mount which is Zion. the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Mount Zion. Uh -huh. Chiefly, like the brother said, the 144,000, the one-third, the elect, right? The elect of the nation of Israel. That's who's going to judge Esau. Uh -huh. So let me finish reading the scripture. It says, "And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. The kingdom shall be Yahweh's and His sons, Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. So that's the king we're looking for. We're not looking for Donald Trump. We're not looking for that." Uh, United Nations to rule the world. We're not looking for the Pope to rule the world. Donald Trump, the Illuminati, the, the King of Kings is Yahweh Shai. So, uh, what it says, and the kingdom should be the Lord. Right, and the kingdom shall be the Lord. The so kingdom, what? it means the earth. Right. So the earth is coming back to the to the rulership of the Israelites right. underneath Jesus Christ. That's right. right there, brother. So I'm going to go back. Oh, well, now I'm going to go to uh, Psalms 75. Seven. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 7. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 6. It says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. That's right. So uh, promotion doesn't come from electing the so-called president. It comes from God. All right? right? So God is going to take out this country in a couple of years, in a couple of months. Right. Because promotion doesn't come from the east, the west, or anywhere, any direction. Right. It comes from on high. It, uh, this scripture says nothing can be given to a man except uh, God give it to him. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
God is in control out here. He wants Donald Trump actually to be the president of the United States. Huh? That's if he makes it. Sure. He still has nine days left, or eight days left. So, in general, we know that all these players have been set up by God. Huh? This is what the Bible is saying. Uh -huh. So, uh, so uh, it doesn't matter what Vladimir Putin is saying, or the Pope, or Donald Trump, or Barack Obama, or the Rothschilds, or the Rockefellers, or the uh, Queen of England. Because God is in control, and God's name is Yahweh. Right. He's black, okay? His son's name is Yahweh Shai, so... I got a quick precept. This is the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. That's right. The, the mind, the heart right there in this scripture, the heart in this scripture represents the mind. Right. So God is in control of the minds of all the world rulers. Huh. And the ultimate outcome is going to be World War III. That's right. So... We're out here actually to uh, look for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're the real Jews. You're the real Israelites. God is black and Jesus, Jesus Christ is your brother and your king. You have to wake up. Uh -huh. Continue reading. Yes, sir. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. That's right. As the rivers of water, he turneth it with, whithersoever he will. So. That's going, there's many other scriptures that prove that God is in control of the movements and the political moves, the military moves, and uh, any speeches being made by all these uh, kings, these leaders, these presidents, these mayors, okay? The ultimate result will be a conflict between America and Russia. World War III is coming to this country, okay? That's right. So you got to wake up, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I'm going to go to Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, yeah. Yeah. verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. That's right. They shall... It's like, I'll start over. It says, verse 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked. So this is talking about... This is symbolic talk in Revelation. It's talking about the, the, the final war on earth is gonna be between, excuse me, between the Europeans, Russia and NATO, and America, the United States of America. The right. 10 horns is uh, NATO in the Bible, okay? Right. So NATO is the 10 horns, they're gonna hate the horn. Who's the horn? The United States of America. Right. They're gonna burn it with fire, meaning uh -huh. nuclear missiles are gonna be launched from Europe to the United States of America. That's right. It's been written in Revelation. Uh -huh. This is what John saw. This is what John the Revelator saw. The word revelation means to reveal. That's right. So he had a vision of America being burnt up with nuclear fire. Uh -huh. All right. Continue on. So this is uh, the Bible is the truth, okay? Uh -huh. We're right here preaching the truth, the Bible, to, uh, to be a, a part of the hopeful elect, okay? Uh -huh. But this is required for the men of the Lord to come and profess the names, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, to, to speak to the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You have to wake up, because this country is going to be destroyed in the very near future. Right. Continue. Right. It says, And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right, some of this is symbolic talk. Eat her flesh. Uh, it's talking about the nuclear bombs is going to be... Uh, it's going to be so devastating, there's going to be nothing left in, in this country. It's going to be a desert. Right. Because basically the word eat just means to consume. You know, when you consume something, so those missiles, that fire is going to consume the people's flesh. That's great. Now I want to pull that up real quick. It said their tongue shall, uh, you know... Let me get it real quick. I'm going to hold this, but there's still some more there. Back around okay. Right, so. It says, For Yahweh hath put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. Good. So this is all, uh, this is all, uh, once again, this is talking about the Heavenly Father controls everything that's happening on this earth. So World War III is going to be a fast approaching because this is what is prophesied in the Bible. Okay? Right. So, uh, it's still more. It says, um, to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. That's right. So uh, since the beginning, America was set up to be destroyed, okay? Right. NATO was set up 
to destroy America. <laughs> Russia was set up to destroy America. Right. So these kingdoms were set up. Why? Because of prophecy. So who knows about that? Only the Israelites. Right. And the elite of this world, they know what's happening on this earth, okay? That's right. So we, we read the Bible, we know the prophecy, so it's our job to come out here and teach and uh, try to reach out to our brothers and our sisters, right. the Israelites. Right, so we go to the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. So you shouldn't be looking for the election of Trump or the presidency of Trump. You should be looking for World War Three, okay? Yeah. Martial law, yeah. the, the microchip, the RFID, the famine, the famine, the famine, the famine of the world. Yeah. The famine of the world, huh? RFID chip is the mark of the beast, according to prophecy, okay? So pretty soon, the monetary system is going to crash in this country. So you got to wake up. Right. Because people, a lot of people are waiting for what's in January. Yeah. People are waiting for the, uh, the inauguration. After that, it'll be Valentine's Day. After that, it'll be Easter. And say the same thing, the same cycle. Yeah. Pagan cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Hedonistic cycle. And that's going to come to an end soon, bro. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. That's right, I've been saying that God rules in this kingdom, okay? It's not Donald Trump, it's not the Rockefellers, it's not the Rothschilds, it's Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah. Right. They rule in the kingdom of men. Right. And their determination is to gather the nations right. into the right. war of Armageddon. Right. You know, uh, that's, that's, no, it's, it's, it's still more. It says, um, uh, the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. That's right. So, Donald Trump, well, it's po very possible that he will make it to be president. Sure. We still don't know because a lot of things can happen in nine days. Uh -huh. Russia, all this stuff about bubbling up with Russia, yeah, so. there's no telling that a nuke could get sent somewhere, you know? Even if it's not on America, because the prophecy got to get fulfilled, you know, the mark of the beast, the R5D chip, but... It could be a, a, a war somewhere that breaks out that America's involved in and, and everything could just crumble from there. The economy collapse. There's so many different ways. So it don't matter if it's going to be Trump that's going to be going to be the new president right. or Donald uh, Barack Obama usurps the presidency uh, by some uh, jurisdiction, you know, because there's too much happening with Russia. So they may have to investigate that. Yep. So this country is, is finished. Okay, the, uh, the wise men of T-Man are finished, okay? Yep. Uh, Esau is a uh, wise man, and they're being confounded uh, every turn, every yep. day. Okay. And they're about to sit in the dust, like the scripture says. Babylon shall sit in the dust, the virgin daughter of Babylon. All right, good. Let me finish this up. Get the next one. So it says, "The Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever He will." That's right. And set it up, and set it up over it, the basis of men. That's right. So Donald Trump is one of the basis of men. Okay. Uh, and believe it or not, some of you people think uh, Barack Obama is some, one of the greatest of men. Yeah, he's one of the bases of men too. Right. Because people were cheering him and uh, they giving him props the other day for his uh, farewell speech. Yep. But this dude instituted abomina abominable laws in this country, uh, so-called giving rights to sodomites, okay? So how is he? That man is a marked man with God. He's a marked man with Jesus Christ, right. okay? Right. And by the agents, okay? He, he, he went against the everlasting law of the Bible by promoting homose homosexuality. So Barack Obama is an abomination, okay? Right. Donald Trump, going down the list, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, they're all abominations. And they've been set up to rule the earth for a very short while. Uh, it hasn't really been that long. Supposedly, you know, even Esau said, oh, the earth is thousands, uh, millions of years old. It's not millions of years old. It's thousands of years old. It's yeah, not that millions. would be a bullshit like 300, yeah. four, uh, 500 years. You know, before that, the Greco-Roman Empire. Uh -huh. But it's going to be a, it's going to be a short work out here, you know? Right. So let me bring this out then. This is uh, Job 20, chapter 20, verse 4. Knoweth thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth? that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Yeah, because this country is hypocrites. They say they're Christians and God we trust. So you're, you're triumphing 
your rulership is going to be short, okay? Because uh -huh. you're the wicked, like we read in the first, the first verse we read, Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? Uh -huh. So the triumphing of the wicked is short. Right. So it don't matter if you're ruling the world, according to God, that, that uh, rulership is going to be short yep. because the righteous are going to be put in authority on earth, okay? That's right. That's the Israelites. And there's, a, there's an actual example, you know, when you go into the book of Maccabees, the, the first book of Maccabees, the first chapter, that's a perfect example. And uh, Alexander the Greek, how that's long right. did he rule? He only ruled for 12 years. Yeah, he was a, he was a sucker, man. Right, and that was a short rule. And he, and he lived and died, and then everyone forgot. You know, they tried to have his legacy live on, live on but he wasn't right. shit. Right. He was just a fucking devil. He, he got, he got plagued him. with a disease, I believe. Right? Right. He died, I think. I don't know if they tried to transport him back to Greece, but he died in Afghanistan or India. Wow. So that dude, even how famous he was, he ruled for 12 years. Wow. So look at that. One of the most famous heroes of the past, Alexander the Greek, only ruled for 12 years. So that's that's a shameful history. Yeah. So this is definitely, uh, this is history, you know? That's an Esau's history. He knows right. that Alexander yeah. was short. So what we bringing out, it's in the Bible, it's in the Holy Bible, the King James, all right? But it's real life, because everything that's written in here, there's real life examples of everything that's written. And we it's don't really care. Fantasy, we don't really care about your history, but because our history is greater than your history, right. okay? We're Israelites. The Son of God, all right, is our brother and our king. That's right. And God, the Creator Himself, is our Father, Yahweh. So we don't care about all your politics, your presidents, your history, Alexander the Greek, Romans, that's it all gonna be in the trash heap, the nuclear trash heap of yeah. history, okay? Yeah, the big nuclear bonfire, the lake of fire. That's right. Uh, this is, I'm gonna continue from verse six. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reacheth onto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, even though you set up uh, space stations, you have all kinds of satellites, technology, uh, you have stealth technology, the, uh, the warplanes, right. all kinds of aerial military technology yep. and space technology. So the ex excellency bounce up to the heavens. Uh, read it again. Right, though, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaches up to the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. So look at that, look at your fate. Just because you're flying above the, the clouds, your helicopters up to your, your stealth and to your uh, space station, your, your, uh, your history, your fate is going to be uh, flushed down the toilet, basically. You yeah. should perish uh, forever like your own dung. So what do you do when you're done? You take a shit in the toilet, or if you're living out in the country, you may have to take a shit in the field somewhere. So that's going to perish. So the history of Esau, so-called white man, America, is going to perish like their own shit. Okay, to put it in modern terms. And also, I wanted to add on, brother, that, you know, the excellency of the heavens, mounting up to the heavens and the, the cloud is also a spiritual, because you brought out the physical uh, manifestation of that scripture, like the, the International Space Station and things like that. But it's, a, it's also spiritual, because this man has a lot of pride. The, the, the so-called white man is the most prideful human being on the earth. Look at Donald Trump coming in, oh, make America great again. That's pride. He wants to make this country well. Why would he have to make it great if it's not doing bad? Yeah, because Babylon the Great is falling. It's falling, huh? So they want to try to make it great again. That's you can't right. make Babylon great again. Right. It's a wrap. Look, this scripture is being fulfilled right now as we speak. The triumphing of the wicked is, is short, you know? Excuse me, like, yeah, the triumphing of the wicked is short. So with that, yeah, let me go to the next scripture. This is the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. But Yahweh knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of Yahweh. That's right. So anything that's exalted on this earth, uh, in this present world, is an abomination in the sight of the Heavenly Father, okay? Right. Yahweh, okay? Because Caesar Borgia is the man that was is being portrayed as Jesus Christ, okay? That's right. That's an abomination, okay? All your uh, Hollywood stars, so-called, Hollywood stars are abominations, okay? Yep. Your presidents, your highly esteemed presidents are abomination. All down your system, okay? Yep. From your religious paintings to your, uh, your everyday mayors and all that, anything exalted <coughs> above God's laws and God's people is an abomination, okay? Uh -huh. So, 
We're reading really the words of God out here. People don't want to hear the words of God. They just want to listen to the media. And now you got you got problems now because they're saying there's fake news stories out there. So who are you gonna listen to now? The media or are you gonna listen to the Bible, okay? Because there's only two options on this earth. You either listen to man or you listen to the Bible, okay? And our words are not our own. These are for the words of God, okay? Right, right. So this is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 24. It says, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgments. That's right. This country is not known for judging righteous judgment, okay? Because righteous judgment comes straight from the pages of the Bible, okay? Right. It don't come from your court system, okay? It don't come from your penal code. So you're going to pay. This country has to, uh, there's a, a payback or a, a, re a recompense, recompense. for uh not following uh, or disallowing God's laws to take effect. Right. You call yourselves Christians, you're saying God we trust, even in the court system, it says in God we trust. They have Bibles in the court system, so uh, you have no excuse, okay? Yep. So it's our job out here as the children of Israel, the men of the Lord, to come out here and prophesy your downfall because you're perpetrating a fraud on the earth, okay? Because yep. you're the devil. The devil is a trickster. He's a deceiver. Okay? Yep. So we're exposing the devil. Right. The devil's in the details, and the details is Esau, okay. and Edom, and the so-called white race, and the Europeans. That's right. That's right. So let's see, maybe Trump don't, doesn't, uh, he's not going to uh, be able to be president, right? Because uh, God is in control of the world, okay? Huh? That'd be a beautiful thing if uh, they overthrow his uh, candidacy, okay? And Barack Obama says, nah, I'm going to take this from here. Yep. Barack Obama is possibly the reincarnation of Nimrod, okay? Being an East African. Uh -huh. That's right. So we don't know, just because uh, he supposedly acts cool and all that, they could have trained him from his youth to act like a Jake. Yep. You don't know that? You don't know the, uh, the, the uh, skills that are, uh, or the uh, operating methods of the intelligence community to raise up people to act like they are people when they're not, okay? So like Barack Obama, he's an East African. If he was God's people, why did he set up homosexuals to have rights? Sure. That shows you right there, he does not fear God. Right. All right? And the God we're talking about out here is black, okay? Uh -huh. Jesus Christ is a black man. Their true names are Yahweh, Ba'ashav Yahweh Shai. That's, right. That's Hebrew, okay? That's the Hebrew uh, names of the Father and the Son. So while here, speaking the words of God. Uh -huh. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. That's right. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Well ordered through the Bible. Okay, you can't run a government with anything but the Bible. So this country has to fall because you're not following the words of God. Right. God gave you a, a, a certain amount of time to rule. His people suffered in this land. The, the so-called blacks are the real Jews. Mm. They're the Israelites in the Bible. Right. Uh -huh. There's never been white Jews or white Israelites, okay? His people today are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of black descent and indigenous descent, okay? Right, we are the children of Israel, yep. down to the Mexicans. We are all brothers and sisters, okay? That's right. The children of Israel were oppressed in the United States of America, in Mexico, Central, South America, and the Caribbean, okay? So it's time for our people to wake up and follow the laws. That's what we're saying out here. Yep. This is not hate, this is extreme, the, ex the most, uh, greatest form of love right. to come out here and risk our lives okay because anything can happen out here there's all, all kinds of hate hatred out here racism terrorism police brutality we're coming out here boldly proclaiming the words of god you know that's is a dangerous thing that's right how do we know that because jesus christ himself was crucified for, uh, for uh, teaching the truth that's right and all the apostles were put to death okay yeah. some of them were beheaded and they were put yeah. to death okay so this, all the prophets had tribulation in their lives, okay? So it's our job to show you the laws of God, the truth, and the history, and also, most importantly, what's going to come on the earth, right. which is prophecy, okay? Prophecy. I'm going to continue reading. Yeah, I decided the Antichrist, that's why we got Donald Trump in this law. That's, that's right, right, man. That's, that's right. That's, that's all, that's all connected. Right it's Listen, all connected. That's, that's what we're reading right here. Listen to this. This is verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. 
So basically, you see how Donald Trump, Donald Trump is uh, a president-elect, and you could already see the racial tension stirring up in America. You see the the KKK is coming back out of their caves. You know they mentioned it, black he, uh, so-called black Hebrew Israelites talking about we're teaching hate doctrine and racism, but the so-called white man is the most racist man on the earth. He goes to everybody's different land, he rapes, robs, and murders, and, and steals their resources and puts the people into captivity. That's so, like what they're doing in our black in the That's right. That's right. Exactly. And they don't want the money to transfer back to America. Right. So the, the fact that Donald Trump, you know, is a, a president-elect and the spirit of these so-called white people, which are the biblical Edomites, the devil that the Bible speaks of, you can see that they're getting more bold in their action, just like Donald Trump is. Saying we need to build a wall for the Mexicans. We need to uh, send back, he's talking about sending back the, uh, I forgot what uh, nationality it is. It was in the news today. You know, some uh, Jake, our people, he's talking about sending them back if they don't have visas. I seen on the news earlier. You know, so he's bringing out these bold statements. So this is not surprising to the men who study the Bible though. Right. Because the Bible says, God's people should have tribulation in the end of days. Huh. Well, why do people think the Christians are not having tribulation? The Christians, Donald Trump claims himself a, a Christian. Sure. So that's a that's a uh, uh, act, okay? But then he keeps throwing up the Illuminati, the 666, six, six, the taking up of the world, the oppressing of the world through the symbols of the hands. That's right, that's right. So that's right. The Illuminati is falling, so even like, you know, the people know throughout the society, they know Something is wrong. Yep. Something is wrong in the society, okay? Right. Because um, they claim to be something. <coughs> they claim to be Christian. You can't tell me this country don't claim to be a Christian society. But wait a minute. That comes from the Bible. So you can't claim to be Christian and not follow the, the instructions in here, alright? Right. Uh, brotherly love, charity. This country, as much as they supposedly give to the poor, they oppress them ten times more, okay? Right. They got the chemtrails in the air killing people. Yeah, pollution. With the, with the pollution, they polluted they the sea. They got all this stuff coming from China, filled with lead, killing us, yeah. giving us cancer. That's right. So that's why this next verse, that's the spiritual blood. Blood. The next verse, uh, Ecclesiastic is 10 and 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people. Man, there you go, that's the spirit. The unwise king destroyeth his people. So the people that rule the earth, they have certain policies where they let, like the sister said, a poisonous products. Uh, uh, food come from everywhere and it's not uh, taken care of whereas the people are going to get the best benefits out of that food. Just and, like anything goes. Just like in some of the dollar stores, the toothpaste got um, antifreeze right. in it. Right, yep. it, got, it got antifreeze. It got in the, in the mouthwash. It got antifreeze mixed up in it. Yeah. That's what you get destroying your body. The medication right. is killing our that's people. Right, right. The people that hook that medication and it's a, it's a right. cancerous killer. So yeah, in this country, there's a lot of forms from the air to the food that we eat is poisoning us. So that directly goes to the rulers of this earth, okay? Right. And it happened organically, because God is in control of the, of the world, right. but man himself, so specifically the Europeans and the European Americans, they have, through the Industrial Revolution, okay, to 2017, poisoned the air, poisoned the water, and poisoned the foods, okay? Down to the toothpaste, and deodorant, all that is poison, okay? So we, 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 we want to return back to a world of, of health and peace and spirituality. That's only going to come through a black Jesus Christ, okay? Right. He's going to make war on this earth, okay? He's going to save certain of his people to rule in the new kingdom, and that new kingdom shall be on earth. All right? So that's the holy war, the spiritual war. That's right. That's right. That's right. But it's going to be a physical war too. Yeah, it's going to manifest into a physical war. Right now it's spiritual. We out here, you know, like the brother was saying earlier, we're risking our lives to tear down the lies of this. I mean, excuse me, we're risking our lives to tear down the lies of this system, the spiritual wickedness that's in high places. Because a lot of you people don't know that you're being killed every day. That's the food that you're eating, the GMOs, is killing you. It's that's right. It's about biotechnology science. They've been doing this since 1947. That's Nazis, Nazis, started, the Nazis were um, dealing with all that. So it's right. all connected. Right. So it, it's me... called population control. That's what that's it's called. Right. That's, that's another benefit of the medication. They flood you all over the team to take this pill, but it got thousands of side effects. Mm -hmm. right. You came out worse right. taking one pill than you did before you took it. Right. Right. Let me keep reading. It says, uh, verse 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh. That's right. That's what I was saying. So it don't matter all that poisonous air, food, water, products, 
because God is still in control. That's our faith of the men of the Lord, okay? If you believe in the Bible, you know God is going to get his people through that, okay? Right. And his people are the Israelites, okay? Right. The same people that was in Egypt in the ancient world. That's that, got, right. that got delivered out of Egypt. We're, those, right. we're the descendants of those people. Those were our forefathers. That's right. That's a, that's a, that's a claim. That's a claim. That's a claim. That he has nothing but fear, black skin, and dark skin. You cannot be the pigmentation coming from that part of the equator of the earth. Yeah, uh, Moses passed for Egyptian. Right. So did Josh, uh, Joseph. That's right. And you cannot have hair of straw yeah. if it doesn't have thick ethnicity. That's right. That's right. That's God, God himself has what they call black people's hair. He says it in the Bible. Yep. So hair I'm, of straw. That's right. That's right. That's how they calibrate it. Anything of a strong man of is thick. It's, it's poor. It's heavy. It's like wool. That's, that's what right. That's like what wool is. The thickness of a black so, Asiatic uh, black man. Well, he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe that's of Judah. Right. So uh, this is um, reading on in verse 4. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Yeah. Just the one that is profitable is Yahweh Shai, okay? That's right. So called Jesus Christ is a black man with woolly hair, okay? Uh -huh. His people, like you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're the Israelites. So a certain percentage of the Israelites are going to be delivered out of America because America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear war, okay? Why do you think Russia is in play? Why do you think China is right. in up their faces? It's the war of Armageddon. Kim, Kim is showing they're not in play with America. Russia is showing they don't care nothing about our, our Democrats, our Republicans, because they stir the deep. The war, the wars are coming, sister. So we got to turn back. The war of Armageddon. The war of Armageddon. You got I'm going to continue reading. There's some heavy stuff in there, right? This is great. Uh, verse 5. In the hand of Yahweh is the prosperity of man. That's right, the prosperity of man. And it's the Israelites, the, the nation of Israel, time to prosper, okay? That's right. The new kings on earth shall be you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You Israelites are going to be kings on earth, okay? Our sons and our daughters are going to be princes and princesses, okay? We're no, no longer going to be called minority. We're no longer going to be called black, Hispanic, or Native American. We're going to be called Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Issachar, okay? Manessa. These are the holy names given to us by our God, okay? That's right. The holy Bible. Uh -huh. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. You got to wake up to the truth. But these lies are going to be faded away, okay? Yep, right along with the land. Right along with America. So, uh, upon and upon the person of the scribe shall he lay his honor. I'm going right. to jump down to verse 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right. That's talking about the rape, the robbery, and the murder of Europeans. And with the United States of America, what they did in the, uh, the chattel slavery, okay, down south and all throughout the United States, this oh, on this game, two, okay, they became two, rich by the oppression of so-called black people, okay? Yep, free labor. In, uh, in South yes, America, through the Mexicans, through the Native Americans, they go silver that was brought back to Europe 